This video is sponsored by Great Courses Plus. They are an online on-demand video learning service and I will speak more about them later. <laughs> yeah. Hi, how you doing? Are you well? Good, I'm well too. Listen, huge news. So, as you can see already by the... That's my lunch. By the title of this video, your boy was featured in Forbes. Now, huge massive news, really exciting. The reason I'm not more enthusiastic right now is because I'm literally running on absolute nothing. Well, I'm running on pretzels, if I'm honest. They have free pretzels at my office space and I'm running on them because I'm not good at regulating my eating or my sleep, which is why I look the way I do. Now for the rambling. A ton of people have been asking me on LinkedIn and Instagram how I'm going about my hiring process because I'm a very lean startup, i.e. I'm a one-man band without investment and I'm hiring somebody full-time, which is a really big deal, but I'm choosing not to use a recruitment agency, i.e. I'm choosing not to spend between two and four thousand pounds on finding the right person. But it's really difficult, and I'm gonna explain this process in the video. And I'm gonna explain what being featured in Forbes actually means from a business point of view. Forbes magazine is one of the most well-known, well-respected business magazines in the world. I'm featured in a series run by Joe Whitwell, and it basically explores the lesser discussed topics of startup life, the parts where you're, you know, hit with an overwhelming financial struggles, um, you know, you're plagued with insecurities in, term in terms of comparing yourself to other founders like me. <laughs> that was my insecurity. And the series as a whole is a really interesting insight into what doesn't make the front pages and what doesn't make the front cover of magazines and isn't championed on Instagram. People don't talk about the side to this world that is really ugly and just not nice and quite, you know, low, depressing at times. Being featured in Forbes is a huge, huge deal for me and my company because it gives me that level of legitimacy and credibility which anyone in charge of the personal brands of founders and CEOs needs to have. Because it essentially means that Forbes have given us their seal of approval to say, these guys are legit, they know what they're doing, go for it. It's amazing! Which leads me to my next point. Right. The problem of hiring is like never ending. I thought the process of hiring would be me putting out a couple of job adverts, a few LinkedIn posts, a couple of Instagram stories, and then I'll just get, you know, a couple of good applicants and I'll interview some of them and then we'll move from there and I'll have my first hire. It's not the case at all. There's just so much to do. I'm even using a software called Workable, which essentially streamlines that entire process of people applying, having to schedule phone calls, video interviews, in-person interviews with them. And that's really helpful, but it doesn't take away from the fact that I've now got over 40 people who have applied for this role, and the role's only been open for like a week, just over a week, and I'm still gonna have to do a lot more of this to be able to find the right person which means at my end, there's so, so, so much admin stuff that I have to do specifically to find this person, but I can't really do that because I need to do all my client work and I need to do my usual lead generation work, i.e. getting new business. Like, if somebody refers me to someone new, a potential client, I don't wanna not meet them. I don't wanna let that go, but at the same time, I'm now just like, ah! I need to somehow find new time within a day to keep my current clients happy, which is the priority, get new clients, which is the second priority, and then learn how to hire somebody and find the right person, which is the third priority. So loads is going on, and I don't have investment behind me. This is entirely funded by me. And when I say funded by me, I put a very little amount of money into this company when I started, over a year or so. And yeah, I mean, the rest is profit that I've been able to build up over the past year that I'm now pushing towards an employee. My strategy in finding somebody is to push out as much content as I possibly can about the fact that I'm hiring to get as much exposure as I can to therefore show my potential team members who currently don't know me that there's this bloke called Joe who's hiring people for this really cool company and they could be a part of it and here's a link. What I've done there is try to create an engaging piece of content around the fact that I'm hiring and at the time of this video at the time I'm recording this, I think it's got over 8,000 views on LinkedIn. Um, I've received a bunch of applications directly from that. I've received a bunch of messages um, directly from that saying, hey, I saw your video, this is what I think, great job, this, that. So that's really cool and that's really fun. Once I've found time to have a good look through these candidates, I'm then going to shorten that list to as few people as possible. Then I'm going to arrange phone calls with those people, and those who I want to meet in person, I'll then, inter I'll then arrange interviews with them. They'll come into one of the London branches, I'll find a couple of tests to do there, I'll probably have somebody sit with me whilst I interview them, and 
it will be a fun time. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. This is a really huge deal for me. And now, a kind word to our sponsors. So, as you know, The Great Courses Plus is an on-demand video learning service which you subscribe to. When you sign up, you have unlimited access to over 10,000 resources which will help you streamline certain things, whether it's in business, whether it's in music, whether it's in art or literature. They have tons of content and lots to learn from. Sorry, did I say 10,000? I meant 11,000. One thing I find particularly useful is that this content lives there forever. Once you sign up, you have unlimited access. So it's not as if you're gonna attend a lecture and then miss it forever, or you know, you'd know you have to rely on somebody else's notes, but it's still there. So the last time I made a video about this, I spoke about the Entrepreneur's Toolkit course, and I'm still able to revisit specific lectures within that course, like starting a business plan, to actually gain a better understanding and use it as almost a constant guide, rather than a quick spark of inspiration, and that's really useful to me. Guys, mind my Tupperware pot of half-eaten lunch, um, because I've got your free course, free trial, even. Anyway, if this sounds interesting to you, you can get a free trial now. Just visit thegreatcoursesplus.com slash joebinder to find out more information. And the link's in the description below. Anyway, that should give you a good insight into what my life looks like at the moment. Um, that Forbes article was huge, really proud of that. Hiring at the moment is a massive deal. I'm trying to stay on top of things. And of course, still trying to update this YouTube channel because I don't want to stop talking to you. This is important to me. If you got to the end of this video, be a babe, drop a comment below saying Joe's camera isn't the best one now. Oh no, don't say that. That's not very positive. If you got to the end of this video, say, as a matter of fact, Joe's camera is what is at the best it's ever been. That's what I like to hear. Good cameras. Guys, as normal, it's been absolutely lovely. Thank you for watching. Do comment, do Instagram me. <sighs> Wish me luck for the next few weeks. It's gonna be difficult, but gotta stay on top of it, and I'm going to, so bye.